All right, what's up, everybody? <clears throat> Norm Cam here for a quick uh, post-game reaction to that uh, Seahawks-Dolphins game. Still on my way uh, out of Seattle. Uh, really haven't had a chance to digest any real stats or anything like that. I'm just going off of my gut reaction to what I saw today. Uh, first of all, <clears throat> any win is a good win no matter how ugly it is. And that was definitely ugly. But as I always say, I would rather win ugly than lose pretty, you know what I mean? So in the, in the, all the only stat that matters is one and oh in the uh, win-loss column. But now, you know, now we kind of get ready for next week and we kind of look and see, well, what did we learn from this week and what do we have to do to change what happens moving forward? Uh, my gut feeling is just kind of looking around the league, a lot of the teams that we normally would kind of write off as being, you know, uh, pushover teams, and maybe I, well, I underestimated Miami in the same way, uh, just like the Packers just barely edging Jacksonville, uh, Indianapolis Colts actually losing to Detroit. Um, you know, there's, you know, that's the way the NFL is. I don't think really that there's the gaps between teams that are great and teams that are uh, good versus teams that are bad. It's not that extreme, except maybe Cleveland. But, um, you know, it, it just takes a play or two here or there to make the difference. And today, you know, we really got physically beat, you know. Um, Miami should have won that game had they done a few more plays just right. Because for a while there, Seattle wasn't doing anything on offense. You know, Russell gets banged up. He's not the same guy, explosive playmaker that he normally is. You know, it scared me, and we're still kind of waiting to see how serious it is, but just we've all taken for granted, or maybe not taken for granted, but we've always remind ourselves how lucky we are to have a healthy quarterback in Russell Wilson, and of what happens in the first game. He, he's struggling with an ankle injury. So, you know, we're all human, even Russell. So. Um, what I would say is that I thought we came out re looking really good. Uh, for our offense did right off the bat. Russell was hitting the balls, uh, throwing balls, hitting receivers all over the place, spreading it out. We were moving really efficiently. And then we had a couple bad breaks. Tyler Lockett drops a ball he normally would make nine times out of ten. Doesn't get the first down, we punt. Did that again on another drive where Tyler had an opportunity to, to convert and keep the drive going. And, and it's those little plays that make a difference too, where maybe we're 14 up instead of no points, you know? And same goes to Miami. They had a chance to, uh, <clears throat> they were down in our, in our neck of the woods. They went for it on fourth and inches, didn't make it. They should have some points out of that. Had they played that differently, they didn't. If they kicked the field goal, maybe they win that game. Um, but the same thing happened to us. We went for it fourth and short and we didn't make it. And we didn't get points out of it either. So it kind of goes both ways. I thought the defense played, for the most part, an outstanding game. A lot of bend but don't break situations. Um, I thought Sherman had a great game. I don't think he was thrown against a whole lot, but he made some amazing, he was actually a really good tackler out there. Uh, Thomas seemed to have a rough day out there. Maybe I'm, I'm giving it too much weight because of just two plays that I saw, but the one where he was, you know, the, there was a, a, a running back out in the flat, got a first down wide open catch and he's running the safety his job of course Earl's job is to make sure he's the last line of defense and he kind of got juked and guy ran off for another 15 20 yards behind him so I mean, that wasn't good and then the, the one play where Miami could have really jumped out ahead you know, he had him beat the receiver was looking back for the ball and Thomas didn't know where it was beat by at least five yards or three or four yards and uh, luckily the receiver couldn't find it either. I'm, I'm guessing the sun had something to do with it because it was right up in that area where uh, when the ball was up in the air. So maybe they both lost in the sun, fortunately. Um, but, you know, those are just a couple plays I can think of where things could have swung the other way. But, uh, yeah, from what I saw, Miami's, uh, you know, they're a pretty good team. I mean, they, they, were, they were hanging with us all the way through, you know, and one or two plays here. You know, if they stop us on any of those fourth downs in the end, you know, the game is over. So I guess when you look at it and, it and every game is like that, you can always go back and say, oh, if they'd done this, it would have been different. If they'd done this. But 
the game played out the way it did play out and it came down to we had the ball with one last possession and it was whoever makes the plays uh, and whoever doesn't is going to decide who's the winner and who's the loser. And we were fortunate because we had to overcome two fourth down plays to keep the ball moving. Um, we had to go, you know, not the length of the field, we had to go 75 yards in four minutes to, uh, to win this ball game. And uh, they did it. They did it in really three and a half minutes because they had 30 plus seconds left on the clock for Miami to try to come back as well. But <clears throat> they made plays when they had to. And in the most important of the drives, you know, we were waiting for Seattle to finally bring one home, and they did in the very most uh, climactic type of way that you can draw it up, in the most stress-inducing, heart, you know, attack-tempting type of mode. But I was, I mean, how can you complain? That's great entertainment. It was a painful game to watch for the most part, but you can't deny the excitement and the, the just thrill of a game like that at the end. I mean, it felt like we won you know, a playoff game or something. It reminded me you had the energy of a Green Bay Packer finale or the Super Bowl finale or anything like that. Speaking of, in fact, speaking of Super Bowls at the end there, I, I had a major flashback to the Super Bowl. I, I was so tempted to say it, but I didn't want to jinx us. But when we got down to their end, to their end zone and we were, sec, it was literally second down and one with like 45 seconds left or 30 seconds. Yeah, no, about 45 seconds. I was going, oh my gosh, this is exactly the exact, almost to the T, this exact down and distance, yardage, time remaining as it was in the Super Bowl. And being down, uh, we were down, was it four points as well? We were down, yeah, yeah, four points as well. So I just, I, I, I wanted to say so bad, oh my gosh, this is just like the Super Bowl, I didn't want to jinx the thing. So uh, I'm so glad that when we did decide to pass the ball, it wasn't a slant in the middle. Instead, it was a beautiful pass from from uh, from Wilson to Baldwin in the corner and, and a fade route, and uh, he got it. And I didn't cheer right away. If you saw my reaction, or you will see my reaction in the, when I post the reaction video, I didn't cheer because I immediately saw the flag that was thrown, you know, near the line of scrimmage. I thought, oh no, this is what if it's offensive pass interference? What if it's holding? You know, we'd be we could be marched back, and suddenly you know we could go from second and one to second and 11 and and suddenly the whole dynamic changes altogether so anyway i'm so grateful that we not only got the touchdown but also you know didn't have the penalty that was a big relief but i was far from you know celebrating i saw people heading for the exits and all this i was like guys we, and then we, we missed the extra point and now we're only headed by two and i'm going guys we can still lose this game you know it's not over i kept saying it's not over it's not over and, uh, but fortunately, everything came down to the hands of our defense and man, they played lights out in that last uh, series. It was like incomplete pass, a uh, strip sack that went out of bounds and then a sack to end the game. And that was awesome. I mean, they never had a chance. I mean, they basically, because of that, that strip sack, they completely eliminated any possibility of um, a field goal beating us. They had to basically you know, go to length, go go to the end zone to win the game because there wouldn't have been enough time, and uh, that was a, that was a huge deal. So, um, yeah, so very relieved we got the win. Um, pass rush is still a concern. There was too many times when Tannehill was just standing out there all day long with linemen, sometimes with no one in front of him, just looking around, wondering what to do, and uh, so that's a concern. The, the interior offensive line, I think Webb in place of uh, the injured Fetty was more noticeable than I had feared it would be. So we're gonna have to deal with that. Um, we did run the ball pretty decently. Um, and both Rawls and Michael look good. I, I, like the, I like the two back combination because they're both slightly different, but they both uh, are quick and hit the holes hard and, and both had pretty good games. Um, and it was good to see Jimmy Graham get a catch in there. Lockett will, will I, I look at this as we put that game behind us and Lockett will have a much better game next time. And uh, he'll be better. You know, that, that was flukish. He, I haven't seen him have a game like that. He didn't have a game like that last year. We had that, you know, many key drops. So he'll be better. And, uh, but overall, I thought everyone else played a pretty, you know, pretty solid game. And we'll just really find out, you know, how Russell's ankle situation is from his press conference you wouldn't think there's any problem but you know Russell's always Mr. Sunshine 
won't really talk much about what might really be going on. So we'll have to just time will tell on that. But hopefully, I mean, he was good enough to finish it, and he made the passes that he had to. So and had to scramble uh, for like a four or five yard gain. So you know, I think he's, I think he'll be all right for next week. But he'll probably be feeling some some uh, bumps and bruises for sure for the next few days. But uh, anyway, lots to improve on. But it's always nice to improve on things when you got a win behind you. So that's all that matters. Put that behind. Forget about it. Uh, learn from the mistakes and uh, get ready for Los Angeles next week, which I will, of course, be at that game broadcasting to you guys and bringing it to you all the way from uh, LA Coliseum. So, all right, that's it. Uh, I'll be, uh, I guess, really my next video will be coming from Los Angeles, California uh, when I get down there this coming week. So, uh, thanks for watching. For those of you watching my live stream, thank you for that. Um, and for those who are, who are watching me on YouTube, uh, please subscribe, like, share my videos, and uh, check out my other ones too, the music videos and Rivals videos and all that stuff. Um, lots of good football entertainment. So thanks to all of you guys for your support. And a uh, big shout out, thank you for uh, to Hunt's Services, a partner with Norcam, doing great work for people's homes around the Pacific Northwest. So go check them out. All right, that's it. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great week. Go Hawks, baby.